I know you guys love my art, and it's been a while, I think, a couple videos since I drew you something. So, um, we're talking cradles today. And so, what is a cradle? Um, well, let's, let's move to uh, Exhibit A. So, here's the front of a car. And uh, again, doing the best I can with my art here. Here's a tires, cross member. Uh, here's my here's your motor. Here, this little guy up here is your distributor, and then this guy back here, that's your firewall. Okay. So as a car is taking hits, front, side, back, whatever, all this stuff is going to want to kind of mash together. Um, and that can put a lot of stress on your standard motor mounts, these little guys right here. Um, cause the bolts to break, cause the, the mounts to break. You know, if you've ever watched a derby and you see the motor kind of hopping up and down in the engine bay every time the uh, driver pushes down on the throttle, that's because he's got a broken motor mount or more than one broken motor mount. Some derbies even let you chain your motor down in case that happens. The other thing that can happen is as you're hitting with the front end of the car, here's kind of a side view. Um, as you're hitting with the front end of the car, this is the distributor here. Here's your firewall. Um, this will get pushed back. This distributor um, will get pushed back into the firewall. And if that distributor cap gets busted, uh, your plug wires get snarled up or anything can happen once this distributor hits the firewall, you're out. Uh, your, your motor is not running anymore without a distributor. So, how do we solve these problems, right? Broken motor mounts, broken distributor. We solve it with a cradle and a distributor protector, okay? So, here is what I drew. This is kind of a close-up of the view I already showed you. Um, this is kind of the lower. So the lower will bolt into the block um, and you'll get a chance to see this up close when I go down to the shop, but the lower cradle cradles the motor and bolts into the block. The DP bolts into the back of the block. The DP is like a big steel shield that when this gets pushed against the firewall, it's not going to break your distributor. The, the firewall is going to bend because that is big, usually three eighths, half inch. I've even seen inch thick cradles and DPs. And so you're good with your distributor. That can be tied into your lower and all of it basically cradles the motor. It it you know, what do you what else do we put in a cradle? We put a baby in a cradle, right? Okay, so obviously a cradle is for protecting stuff. Um and it does a very good job of that. And this is one of the biggest investments you can make into a derby car. Um because this is what's going to allow you to take this motor from car to car without it getting all messed up. Um, and so that is what an engine cradle is. It's a lower engine cradle. They make versions to protect your pulleys. This is a distributor protector. You don't necessarily need a distributor protector if you're running Ford or Mopar engines because the distributor's up front. That carries its own challenges with it. But if you're running Chevys, <clears throat> then you're gonna need a distributor protector. I guarantee it. Um, now there is another part and it's called a halo bar and it's a bar that comes out and down into the block. Okay. That, and it usually has a piece here that will protect your carburetor. Um, and you can also mount different accessories to it that you might need. But basically you got three parts to a standard cradle. You got your lower, you got your distributor protector, in your halo bar okay so we're gonna be working on my cradle uh, here in a minute so uh, I'll show you what one looks like up close and personal and uh, then you know you guys can let me know what you think about my art the motor uh, we will not be using this motor for this season uh, this was last season's motor uh, we are, uh, the new motor is almost back from the builder. Uh, and so we need to get ready for the arrival of the new motor. Um, 
And the way we're gonna do that is we've gotta get this cradle, halo, distributor, protector, all this engine armor needs to come off this old, uh, off the uh, old motor. And we're gonna clean it up um, and get it ready to go on the new motor when it arrives. So just talking about the motors for a second, I run small block Chevys in my cars. Hasn't always been that way, but I've been running them now all through last season. I'm very happy with them. This small block Chevy is a 307. Uh, very um, mild build on this motor. Nothing too fancy with it. Mild cam. Uh, it's not bored over or anything like that. Um, but I think it's got a head gasket issue. One of the stacks uh, last season started blowing white smoke out of it. Um, still ran like a champ through the whole season, um, but it's going to get relegated to a backup motor and then eventually it'll get torn down and probably get rebuilt itself or sold or something along those lines. But we're not worried about that right now because we got a fresh new motor coming from a builder friend of mine. What we need to do is we need to get all of this stuff off here. Um, and that's just exactly what we're going to do. Uh, and we're going to clean it up and repaint it. So, um, oops. first thing, uh, we're going to use that. Once I get the top off um, and, the D and the DP, we'll use the cherry picker to lift the motor so that we can get the bottom off, this bottom cradle off. Uh, and then once we have all the pieces off, we'll grind them a little bit, clean them up. I'm going to do a little bit of welding. I'm going to weld a a piece here that's going to be a catch for the spring that runs to the throttle on the carburetor. There you go, all jacked up. Now she's leaking a lot of oil out of the timing cover. So, I don't know, I used some black RTV on it, but I don't know. Well, another problem for another day. So, this lower is in the front here and it hooks in with three bolts on each side. And uh, we'll knock those out and see if this thing just wants to drop into our lap here, which it should.
the three pieces of our cradle, halo, lower, distributor protector. They make much bigger ones that can go completely around a motor, up and over, all sorts of stuff. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna get the grinder out. I'm gonna clean up some of this oil and stuff, some of this brake cleaner, get these all cleaned up, get them all grinded up and ready for painting, repainting. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that. here this little spring is well I got a heavier duty one it's gonna go there and then this is gonna attach down here to the throttle um, and that's gonna give me a nice firm um, press on the gas pedal so I've got all of these things strung and uh, I'm just gonna paint them I'm gonna lay We'll blank it down so I don't paint my floor, but I don't mind if Big Blue gets a little bit of paint on her. Uh, and then these can just kind of dry for a while. And uh, I don't know, it's pretty cold, so they're probably not going to dry until a full day tomorrow when this garage warms up a little bit. But, if you're going to have a cool new motor, uh, you know, wrap it in something cool, right? Old and busted, new hotness on the way.